Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring you some more tech news. Um, I'm going to do this as a live commentary over this game because I know I haven't put anything up in a while and I want to get it up quick. Um, game is Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter. This is why I haven't been putting videos out because I have been absolutely hammering this. I is. Oh, it's fantastic. It is, for me, anyway, the what World of Warcraft was when it first came out, what vanilla World of Warcraft as 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 it's known. For me, that is what this game is. It is it has got me into the MMO genre again, um, like World of Warcraft did when that came out. Um it's very, very, very similar, except of the uh the action based combat. As you can see if I move my mouse around here. Uh, at the bottom, you don't have the, uh, the the massive list of of combat abilities like you do in World of Warcraft. You just get a short, a, a few of them that you can slot in and out, um, kind of like Diablo in that respect, and a lot of other action-based uh, MMOs. I know Diablo is not an MMO, but um, and then you get two two uh, daily abilities. Why they're called daily abilities, I have no idea because you can use them more than once a day. You just need to fill up your uh, your action points, uh, which fill up for for me anyway, dealing damage and healing. Uh, once that, once it all fills up, oh, you can see a little bit of its orange there. Once that's all filled up with orange, it allows me to use these two abilities. I then have a tab ability, um, which changes these two, these two here, uh, and also empowers uh, the other three as well. Basically, it makes her do this, and then it makes everything else more powerful. And then it gives me an attack and a heal on me left and right mouse click. It's very, very good. Um, it's obviously it's a free-to-play game, which obviously means it's got microtransactions in it. But it's very, very good. I would, uh, if you like MMOs and you're looking for a new one, I would very much recommend it. And if you do get it, come on the um, what server am I on? Um, Beholder. Come on, Beholder server. Because it gives me someone to play with. Then uh, X is going to be playing this, I think, when he comes back. Um, I think it's due back today, actually. Um, but it'll probably be a bit later on. Uh, Limey plays it a little bit, and Mad Dog plays it with me, uh, as we call him now, as we've uh, renamed him the Butch Lesbian. He uh, he plays it with me from time to time, and uh, Limey's internet's been down for a while, but he's back on today. So, yeah, if you d if you do like MMOs and you are looking for a new one, I would strongly recommend this. It is absolutely fantastic. It is still in open beta, but it's smoother than any any MMO that I've that I've ever ever played on even on release I mean that there's very little downtime and when there is downtime it's for a reason uh, so they, and they're very quick at telling you on Twitter or on Facebook to tell you what why it's down how long it's going to be down for if they know obviously if it's not something that uh, that could take hours but it's, it's they're very good. It's very good uh, customer service on on their end for for doing this. Anyway, should we get on with the tech news? That's why you're watching this video. Um, what I want to talk about today, a couple of things. Uh, the International Space Station is moving away from using Windows as an operating system. Uh, it is going fully onto uh, Linux. Which obviously a lot of us know that Linux is a non-profit organization. So for them, it's a uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. What uh, NASA has said, or it's not particularly NASA. It's it's the guys that that run the actual International Space Station and that that run uh, certain technology stuff for for NASA. What they've said is they want a a more reliable system, uh, a more stable system, so that when they need to do updates for when they need to patch things that they can do it with without things crashing all the time so they're going they're going for linux now i've never personally used linux myself um, tell a lie i have once uh, that was a while ago um, and it wasn't for very long so i've never really got into it uh, and used it i've used macs before and i'm not a big fan of macs to be honest with you i mean they're, they're, it's better. It's a better operating system. The uh, uh, 
I can't even remember what it's called. What's it called? Um, iOS is what the um, what the phones use. I can't think of what the uh, the Mac OS is actually called. It's just called OS. I don't know. Um, but I've used them before, and I'm not, I'm not a massive fan. My uncle, um, he he he's dedicated to Mac. He will not have anything else. But I'm not. As I say, I'm not. A, I'm not a massive fan. They're good for for doing stuff like uh, all your CAD designs and stuff like that. And offices are, a lot of the time is where you find them. Um, but as a personal computer, for what I, for what I use it for, for gaming and stuff like that, there companies just don't tend to release games on a Mac, not at the same time as they're released on PC anyway. I'm pretty sure even the version of uh, SimCity is not out for Mac yet. It's been announced, but I'm sure it's not out yet. I don't, I'm not, not 100% on that because I've mer merged away from SimCity because of the fact that it's still utterly crap and broken. But yeah. So Linux on the International Space Station. That could... Uh, that could be something, uh, something to keep an eye on. Just make sure they don't have no problems up there. Because you know, think a computer crash up there is slight, slightly more severe than a computer crash is down here. Um, the second thing that I want to talk about, if I can remember what it is. Yes, I can remember what it is. Um, hackers. Uh, now this is a this is a good one. For. Most of the time, well, a lot of the time, hackers are looked down upon, aren't they? I mean, it's, they're not something that you think, oh, it's a hacker. Oh, yeah, hooray. Uh, the, in the gaming community, hackers are, are spit on and everything like that. It's, they're, they're terrible for us, but in this story that I read, where a lot of uh, thievery and stuff like that done over the internet is done basic, basically by hacking into other people's computers or they're not technically after... Um, money, should we say, hacking it, uh, using the internet to get money. Well, these guys, uh, there was a few of them, I think six of them have been arrested already, but over 20, in 27 countries, what they did is they actually hacked um, into a banking network to get into, because all the, all your ATMs and everything are all linked together so that people have access to them from wherever they are, I mean, you can go to any ATM anywhere in the world, put your card in, and it'll, it'll work. It'll, it'll be fine. You might get charged a little bit for it, but it'll work. So they're all linked. They've got to be all linked together for it to actually know what's, what your card is and how much money you've got. It's, it's common sense. They've, you've got to, the number of they've got to be linked together. So what they actually did is they hacked into the, uh, the network that links all these together, changed codes and everything like that, used old... Um, or uh, like hotel key cards or out of expired uh, credit cards, copied that information onto those cards and went to uh, separate uh, ATMs and withdrew a shit ton of money. Um, they apparently got somewhere up to the range of 36 million pounds by doing this, which has uh, prompted banks to obviously upgrade their security um, because apparently it's uh, it's absolutely terrible the security on the ba on the banking front. You so I'm a genius. I have a friend who your money's not even safe in the bank anymore. Which uh, we knew that in the first place because of the, how the the banks really fucked up. But it's it's come it's come to a point now as as where you, your money's not even. You you could go to the ATM one day and have a thousand pound. Go there the next day and have nothing. Um, Basically, how they did this. I don't think they they actually stole it off somebody. It was more. It was more. Um, what they did is they went into prepaid debit cards and removed the limit on these prepaid debit cards. So if you've got say, uh, if you've uh, prepaid it with five hundred pounds, they removed the limit on it. So to that, uh, whatever the limit was, say you've got a three thousand limit to that, that was how much it was in there. So. The system recognised it, and they stayed in the system to make sure that if somebody did discover him, that they stopped withdrawing money straight away. Um, and they got away with, uh, well, not got away because six on moving captured, but or captured, caught. But they managed to, um, they managed to get thirty-six million million pounds now.
to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't mind that kind of money. But I wouldn't go to that extent to do it. Maybe one day, maybe one day the YouTube monies will uh, will we'll get up to that much. <laughs> I very much doubt it. But you never know. You never know. Maybe something will kick off for me. Maybe uh, maybe I'll get noticed somewhere and everybody will be like, Ooh, Dr. Rodney McKay. We'll watch his videos and then I'll get partnered and then everything will happen and everything. The world will be a happier place with uh, with me on YouTube. I can, uh, I guarantee it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you uh, 5,000 pounds if I make that much YouTube monies. <laughs> if you're subscribed to me now. Uh, maybe not. I have my fingers crossed, by the way. You can't prove it. There's no camera. Um, I'm not too sure what's, uh, what else has been going on, to be honest. I've had a look through. There's not much going on. Sony have uh, started making profit again. Uh, it's been five years since Sony uh, Sony actually made any profit, but they've started to uh, make a profit again. Um, and that's really about it that's been going on in, in the UK. Uh, the government has decided to uh, make a, a crack ton of money available for uh, making the UK the best in the digital age, basically, because to be quite fair, I mean, we're not amazingly far behind, but compared to some countries anyway, I mean, but it would be nice to have the UK as a, as a leader in the, in the digital age at, at some point, I mean, because we're, we're almost certainly not at the moment. So, but really that's about it. And as I say, this is all I've been really doing is playing this and not doing much else. I've been off all week this week, so, and nobody's been on here playing with me. So when they all come back on and they're all like level five and six and I'm level 27 and I won't be able to do anything with them, it looks like I'm going to be starting a new character. Because me and Mad Dog were playing this the other day and we've discovered that you can't actually do dungeons with a lower level player. So, which is a bit... Uh, it's a bit weird. I'm sure we'll work we'll work something out. I'm trying to slow down the leveling. I could have probably been about level 40 by now, but I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it slow so that I don't get too far ahead of everybody. So just in case we can't do dungeons together, then at least we can only not do dungeons together for a few levels. But as I said, yeah, do get this if you are a, a massive a fan of uh, MMOs and. You play World of Warcraft, but you want to get away from it. Then give this a go. Because uh, I like it. It's uh, really good. I've been, as I say, I've sunk a, a lot of time into it. and it's, uh, it's really impressed me. It really has. As you can see, the, the combat is, uh, is very smooth as well. It's very much click-based, but at least you can hold your finger on the button to do your attacks rather than... Uh, Rather than have it uh, just do it constantly all the time. Oh, there's a quest item there. I've never had one of them before. An item that starts a quest. So, yeah, very, very WoW-esque. An item that starts a quest. Oh, and uh, Nightmare Lockbox. There's one thing in this game that, uh, obviously because it is free to play, like I said, there are microtransactions in it. And one of the things is you get these lockboxes. And you need to buy these keys. They're about... <sighs> There are, I'd say, roughly around the six, seven pound mark for ten of them, which is 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 quite expensive. But if you're going to play the game, then I'd rather open these boxes than uh, than just leave them for nothing. I get a coffer of rune stones out of that, which rune stones are basically these things for doing enchantments and some uh, some trade bars, which they're the only place to get them from. So what's in this box? I've got. Two pro, I got a profane and a training rooster, and these are both for my companion, which is a little guy that's by the side of me here. I have a doggy. Kill the rest of these Skeletors, and that'll be the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to me, please, please do. If you, uh, if you like about hearing about all the techno stuff and everything, then please do, please do subscribe and. I will uh, see you guys next time.